Hi guys, and welcome to my preview of Arsenal's game against Norwich um, tomorrow at the Emirates Stadium. Finally, game at home. Um, though there's obviously no fans, but it will be our first game since the restart, um, and will be the uh, and uh, we are the only team that hasn't played at home, and it's we are now at home for this game. Um, but like I said, without the fans, I don't think it will make too much of a difference. Um, now, obviously, Norwich, bottom of the league, they'll be devastated, conceded so let on against Man United. Um, I think they deserved at least penalties out of that. I think they played very well, very de defensively. Um, and it shows if they're on their day, it's going to be difficult. Don't forget, Man United have got a much better midfield than we have. Right, the likes of Pogba, Fern, uh, Fernandez, Fred, um, compared to ours, Jacka, Willock, uh, Grunduzi. Um, so, yeah, it's, we have to be on our game. Yes, they are bottom of the league, and we should be able to win comfortably. Uh, and But, like I said, nothing's won on paper. Um, so, we have to... Be disciplined, be professional, and go there and make it a comfortable afternoon for ourselves. I want to see an early goal, but then not sit back on it. I want Arteta to be brave. I want Arteta to score a goal and then do what we we always used to do, which is dominate the play, the, um, dominate with the uh, possession, um, and. Go and go for the throw. Um, yes, um, he's been doing a lot of counter-attacking football, but that means sitting back, and we, I can't trust our defence doing that. And Sheffield United, yes, they had two offside goals, and they are offside. Um, but it can, it what it did show is the the defensive frailties that we have in our defence. Um, it's not like we were playing for the offside flag. Um, and you aren't going to play any offside flag from a set piece. So we need to be disciplined, especially when it comes to defending, not conceding stupid free kicks or corners when necessary, and try and be more brave and more uh, confident on the ball, um, especially after scoring. And not just give the game to the opposite side and encounter attack. So, um, in other news, is that Madrid's Partey deal um, apparently is going to be a swap with Guendouzi, uh, and that's been going around for the last couple of days, especially since Guendouzi apparently wants out. Um, Juve apparently have, have decided to want. Uh, Bamiang for around about £32 million. Um, again, these are links that are in the papers and I don't believe a lot of these links, to be honest, which is why I don't really tell much about them because papers are just designed to wind the fan base up. They've done it numerous times because um, I don't know why. It, it usually it's just to get more views. Um, so don't believe, I don't believe anything really that the papers say these days. I usually try and find it from the source itself, uh, which is Arsenal.com or a direct source or a very trusted source rather than just what's on the back of the newspapers. Because that is all it's doing is trying to fit their agenda. So, but um, the 3-4-3 three, three that Arteta has been playing or 5 3 2, whatever you want to call it. It's been working in terms of its um, defensive shape. Um, but like I said again, we can still use that formation, but then use that to uh, be more dominant. So, uh, saying that, my lineup, it was, uh, I'm going to give you my lineup for this game, uh, and you can leave in the comments below whether you agree or not. Uh, so, Martinez in goal, uh, obviously, that's a given. Uh, and again, he's showing he's just as good as Leno um, in every department. 
Um, so I think we've got very two, very good, two very good, excuse me, we got two very good reliable keepers on our on our hands, um, which bodes well in that department at least. Um, it's one thing with our defence, you get to see how good our goalkeepers are, because the amount of saves they have to make, and keep how many times they've got keepers in the game. Uh, but right back, right wing back, I'll go Maitland Niles. He proved against Sheffield United why he should be starting. He's miles better than Bellerin. Miles. Right? What Bellerin needs to do is keep his head down, stop focusing on other things around him, and focus on his training. If he ever wants to get back in the side. Because at the minute, and Maitland Niles, what he needs to focus on is keeping that spot. He's got an opportunity here. To take that spot away from Bellerin and say, you can fuck off. Right? You can do one. It's mine. Um, yes, it's not the central midfield role that you want, but you're playing for Arsenal Football Club, one of the biggest clubs in the country. Right? And you've got the perfect opportunity, especially when your rival um, teammate um, is not playing really well in that position, so take it, take it, don't complain, just take it, and then go from there, um, Mustafi, uh, putting my back three would be Mustafi, um, holding, yes he didn't have the best of games against Sheffield United compared to Louise, but I trust him over Louise any day of the week, uh, and Socrates, now he's back in full fitness i'd like to see him start as well um but i think with david david louise yes he has played better um but usually whenever he's played the defense has looked all three of our center backs start looking really really bad so um that's my back three uh left wing back kieran tierney um, just give this guy the captaincy. Do it now. Right? Don't wait till the end of the season. Just give it to him now. Right? This guy, this is why he starts ahead of Robertson for Scotland. He is unbelievable. That game against Sheffield United was unbelievable. Right? He showed also Bellerin, who's three, four years older, how you should be playing as a win back. The only difference is he's doing it on the left, not on the right. Um, and if he was doing it on the right hand side and it was a right wing back, Maitland Niles and Bellerin wouldn't have a chance of getting in that position. Um, my two in front of the defence would be Xhaka, um, such an influential uh, player at the minute. Um, and he's really stating a claim of why he should stay at the club. Um, whereas before we were all writing him off. Um, he's proving that and he's kept his head down and started to prove to the fan base that he deserves to be here. Um, and I'd put, though he wants out of the football club, the passion, desire and work rate, um, I can't fault. And the fact that Willock Yes, he does show the same qualities. He didn't have a very good game against Sheffield United, in my opinion. So that's why I would start Gwendozi in front of him. Um, and then Willock can be sort of an impact pace sub um, for later in the game, especially if we need to find a goal. Um, so, uh, right wing back, Nicolas Pepe. No questions asked. Um, that's just one of the first names on the team sheet. So, uh, Saka, left wing back, uh, left wing back, sorry, um, left wing. Um, again, another good performance. Well, like I said he was a bit quiet to get Sheffield United, but the other performances just to show why he should be starting. And the fact that Martin and he's not available. Um, it's also an opportunity to say, this is my spot, Martellini, 
you're going to have to fire like hell to get back in. Um, so it'd be a nice sort of competition, especially when Martinelli comes back between Saka and Martinelli. The only difference is Martinelli, if need be, can start up front if we want to fit him in the side. So um, it shows again we've got two very exciting uh, players there. Uh, and up top, uh, Pierre Emerick Abamian. Um, and again, uh, top goal scorer. Right, I want us to score goals. And um, though Lacazette had a much better performance and a lot better influence on the game, Abamian, he scores goals for fun. Right, you give him the ball half a chance, he'll put that ball in the back of the net. So, and hence why you they want him so badly, um, if the rumours are true. So, um, yeah, he starts up top for me, and then uh, I'll put I just, uh, on the bench Leno, Louise, uh, Willock, Ozil. Uh, never know if the game's done, Ozil might even get a run out. Um, that's depending on his backache. You saw, I know people do suffer from severe or uh, strange sort of backaches. Um, but he seems to get more backaches than I do. And I've had my muscles cut in my inner core 17 odd times. So they virtually don't exist. So all the pressure's on my back. Um, hence why I can't lift heavy things or do stuff that I want to do. So, um, but if he's fit, I uh, put him on the bench and then he can make an impact later in the game if the game's, especially if the game's done, um, he can show us uh, why he should start for the next game, which will be a very tough game against Wolves uh, at Molyneux. Um, and then uh, Lacazette, Nelson, uh, Sabayos, yes, he scored a goal, yes, um, um, he proved his doubt was wrong in that game, but compared to Quinduzi, there's more end product with Quinduzi rather than Sabayos, um, and he's still got a lot to prove, in, in my opinion. If he comes on as an impact sub and makes a great impact again, then maybe he's turned the corner. Uh, in his performances, so that op so that's why I put him on the bench for that option. Um, uh, and then Nketiah and uh, uh, Bellerin, uh, just because there's not much left of the squad. Um, and yeah, so that's my uh, lineup, my score prediction. I want us to score a few goals. I want us to make it a comfortable win. So I. Sp want us to be free and up uh, and have the game de done, buried. But due to the defensive uh, frailties, I do think we will concede and and it will be towards, I think it will be towards the end. I like, especially if it's towards the end and we're free and up and the game's done. Uh, it'd just be a lapse in concentration. So I predict 3-1 as my prediction. So that's my lineup. Uh, let me know if you, like I said, let, let me know if you agree or not. Also, if you think that we're going to win by one goal, or let me know what you predict as a scoreline. Um, leave that all in the comments below. Um, and like I said again, I can't believe I've made 100 subscribers on this channel. Um, and I can't thank you lot enough for subscribing and if you haven't subscribed and you're watching this video hit that subscribe button um because and then share the content um as to anyone you know so yeah uh leave a like i said leave a like comment subscribe uh and i'll speak to you guys soon hopefully we've won quite comfortably against knowledge and i'll be very happy in my review right take care